Hello, I am Naresh. In this video, we will see about the procedure of deduplication. Actually, we don't want duplicated alerts on our Oxygen instance. Even our operations team also feel annoying if any deduplication alerts coming into the Oxygen. Okay, so we need to reduce this unnecessary noise for our teams. So. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, let me go to a team first. So I am choosing a uh, dev team. So my intention is uh, I'll check. Uh, uh, yeah. So here uh, the Jira software integration has been enabled here. You can see that. So I'll use a software project to create uh, duplicate alerts in this Oxygen and Oxygen will assign those uh, duplicate uh, alerts to the dev team. So let us see how to do that. First of all, I am going to uh, Jira. So actually, the dev team uh, was integrated with a Jira project. Uh, if you if you see my previous videos, you just uh, come to know that. So let me choose that project. Yeah. So actually, this is the project which was integrated with the uh, dev team. So if you go to the teams uh, and dev, if you click on integrations, you can see that the Jira software integration was enabled. So this is the uh, reason that uh, uh, dev team was integrated with this project. So I will create uh, uh, some test issues here. You can see that. So let me create uh, the first alert uh, to test uh, deduplication. So I'm writing this and let me copy this. I will use the same summary for creating next alert. So I am creating this. Uh, if you click on create button, okay, the new issue has been created, but actually there is one active sprint is going on. Therefore, you cannot see that uh, issue here, but issue has been created. And if you go to the options in it, there you can find that uh, issue as an alert. See here, first alert to test deduplication. Okay, so yeah, and I will create one more alert uh, with the same summary. I'll create here. Yeah, I'm creating one more issue in this PTTE project. And if you go to the Obsessiony and just refresh it, you will see the, uh, see here, uh, this is the alert which has been created due to the issue. I'll create one more. I'll create one more. Actually, in organizations, we experience this, uh, uh, mm, uh, this uh, abnormal behavior not abnormal this is a normal behavior but we need to control this see here so our monitoring tools uh, throws uh, these type of errors continuously if any incident happens uh, in our infrastructure teams you may experience uh, this type of behavior same alerts will come okay like 20 30 will come i know um, within a less time so we need to uh, control them. We don't want to create a new alert if we, if the summary uh, is same. Suppose see here, uh, this is the summary and the next alert also is having same summary. So in such cases, uh, we don't want to create a new alert. We just uh, deduplicate that. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, first of all, we need to go to the team section and dev and we need to go to the integration where uh, the um, where uh, we need to find the integration which is responsible for creating alerts. Uh, so this is that integration. So this is responsible for creating alerts from PTTE project. So here after opening this integration, you just see this advanced tab. Actually, you don't see this advanced section in uh, free or uh, essential plans. Okay, you can see this uh, advanced section from standard version plans only. So if you want the deduplication feature, you just need to upgrade uh, your oxygen from essentials to standard. OK, so I am clicking this uh, advanced button. So here, uh, if you uh, see here the create alert action here. So this create alert action is uh, responsible for creating alerts. So now uh, if you uh, come down, you can see that alert fields. So this is the message. See here. So actually if you i am opening the alert section again so now see here if you see the alerts you can see that jira see this jira actually this jira uh, i i was uh, actually i didn't give while creating the issues so if you open the issue 
if you see the summary summary is having only from first alert to test uh, deduplication okay so from here to here only i gave while creating the issue but uh, this was uh, added by the ops journey because in message section um, by default ops journey added as a jira actually uh, because you know ops journey wants to separate jira alerts from all other alerts therefore jira added this if you don't want this you can simply delete uh, this jira therefore you will have only a message uh, as this a message uh, as the summary what uh, we give while creating the issue okay so now suppose uh, i want to keep this jira i want to separate uh, jira alerts from all other alerts which are coming to dev team so i am keeping this and in the place of elias field actually elias is uh, is the field which uh, uh, do the deduplication okay so my dear friends so what happens is uh, now if you give the alias as message mm, let me give this thing so i have just copied the message uh, syntax uh, to the alias so alias is uh, primarily uh, responsible uh, for doing the deduplication on oxygen instance okay so if you give the alias something like this and i am saving this i am saving the integration yes proceed okay so integration has been saved so now let us see what will happen okay so i'll go to the alert section uh, i'll close uh, all alerts i don't want let me close yeah i have closed all alerts this is the like mass closing okay so i'll select all and if you want to delete all alerts you just click on delete okay you just click on this more button there you can find the delete option so that you can find uh, you can delete all the alerts so now i will create one more alert uh, uh, so to create alert i will create issue on jira let me so uh, let me copy this copy it. let me copy this i don't want jira okay so let me try let me create issue yes i have created issue and i'll have alert on the obsession a so if you just click uh, refresh this tab there you can find the alert so see here in the open uh, open section you can sign, uh, see that uh, the alert has been created okay so see here the number is alert count is 1 okay so now i'll create one more alert see you will you will experience the magic now so just i am giving uh, the summary now and this is the summary and just click on create button uh click on create so yes the issue has been created if you go to the options any now you will see that the magic yes the magic has happened so here you can see that alert count is uh, uh, two before uh, we saw that uh, the alert count as one okay so this is what a deduplication here we don't uh, see a new alert we are seeing that alert count is increasing that means it is uh, deduplicating okay so it is avoiding duplication if you click on alert uh, you, know, you can also see here see last duplicated at at uh, november 23 1219 okay so actually uh, the first alert was created at 12 18 uh, pm and uh, the deduplication happens at 12 19 pm okay so that you don't have any duplicated alerts uh, if you have the same uh, summary or if you have the same message okay so actually we call this as a message on the obsession okay so this is called as a message okay message of the alert so this is the message of the alert okay so if any alert comes in to the dev team with the same message it will deduplicate that's it so i'll create one more alert you will see that the number will increase to 3 okay such a magic uh, right let me create one more alert here so i'm adding you know let me delete this anyway jira will add that is so i'm creating alert so now you will see that uh, the this number will be uh, increased to 3 okay right boom see the magic number 3 
and if you go here and check last d duplicated time it is now 1220 okay previous we saw that it was 1290 now it is 1220 so you can see that d duplication time also and if you go to the activity log there you can see that uh, d duplication so alert is received with the same areas okay so the message uh, is is this therefore count is increased to 2 so without creating a new alert okay if any alert comes with the same alias what happens is uh, jira will create uh, a uh, jira will deduplicate the alert and it will increase the count okay count is increased to so here alert is received the same alias and count is increased to 3 okay now you see that uh, so the alert is in open status okay so to achieve deduplication my dear friends you must know this to achieve deduplication the alert must be open okay then only the deduplication count will increase and deduplication will happen suppose if you close this alert okay now the alert has been closed and if you uh, create the same alert let us right let me let me create the issue now let me go to the alerts uh, all section see here and alert count is one so uh, to achieve the deduplication this alert must be in open status and then only this count will be increased so if you close this alert uh, the new alert will be created okay so this is the um, concept of deduplication okay so if you have any doubts uh, just uh, put a comment in the comment section and if you really love this video please click on like button and if you don't want to miss any video from our side you just click on subscribe therefore you will get uh, notifications whenever we do uploads on our channel okay thanks